Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom function that's going to produce a radial progress chart inside a cell. So here I've got my chart.progress function, and it takes a percentage value and returns a corresponding radial progress chart for that value. So if I change the value here and press enter, then my chart's going to update accordingly. So let's take a look at how we can build this. So in order to build this, we're going to use Quick Chart. So this is an open API that allows us to return chart images. So I'm just on the quickchart.io website, and I'm going to go up to the chart gallery here. And we're going to go down to the pie and donut chart section. And we've got a radial gauge chart here. That's what we're going to use. So let's click on that. And here we've got a sample code for a radial gauge chart. We've got the corresponding chart URL for that sample code. And we've got a preview of the chart that's going to generate. So here in the sample code, we've got a comment. I'm just going to delete that as we don't need that in our Excel function. And what we're going to do here is copy this chart URL. So control C to copy. And we're going to head over to Excel now. So now that we're in Excel, we can actually use the image function with the URL we just copied. So the image function is going to allow us to return the image from a corresponding URL inside of a cell. And so the first argument in our image function is going to be the URL for the image we want to return. And the one we just copied is actually missing the first part, so the quickchart.io part of the address. So I'm just going to add that in here by referencing that cell. And we're going to concatenate it with the part that we copied into our clipboard. And so we're going to put that in quotation marks and paste in the URL and close our quotation marks. And we can close the image function. And when I press enter, we actually get an error here. So text values in formulas are going to be limited to 255 characters. And it says here we can actually use the concatenation operator to bypass that issue. So let's try that. And I'm going to break this up into two parts, this text URL. And I'm going to do that just at this hard-coded 80 value, as that's the percent that we want in our chart. And so I'm actually just going to concatenate in a cell reference there for our percentage. And if I press enter, our image function actually returns a connect error. And so the image function is still going to be limited by this 255 character limitation. And that's why it's returning a connect error. So what we need to do is shorten our chart URL. And this section up here labeled options, we can actually remove that and still return a chart. So let's do that. So here we're going to remove that section. And now if we press enter, our image function is going to return a chart based on our percentage value. And so we can now use this image formula in a Lambda function and create our custom function. So let's do that. I'm just going to copy my image formula here. Control C, and then I'm going to press Escape. And let's head down here and create a Lambda function. So we're going to create a Lambda function that takes one parameter, and that's going to be a percent value. So I'm going to label that as percent. And then our calculation that we're going to perform is our image formula. And I'm going to replace these cell references. So here, I'm just going to press F9 and convert that to a hard-coded value. And here, the cell reference to my percentage, we're going to switch that to the percent argument that we created in our Lambda function. And now if we evaluate this lambda function at some value, let's try 70%, then that works and we get our chart image. So now we can add this lambda function into the name manager and create a named function. 
So let's do that. We're going to copy our lambda, control C, and I'm going to press escape. And now we can go up to the formula tab and open up our name manager. And I'm going to create a new name. And the name I'm going to give it is chart.progress. So this is going to be the function name that we reference when we're using our new chart function. And here in the refers to, that's where I'm going to paste in my lambda formula. So let's paste that in and press OK. And let's close our name manager and we should now be able to use our chart.progress function in the workbook. Let's try that out. There is our chart.progress function and it takes our percent argument. And let's press enter and we get our chart back. So that's how we can create a custom progress chart function. We can use the image function along with quick charts API service. And then with that, we can create a custom Lambda function to more easily use our chart. Now, Quick Chart has a ton of different types of charts in the library, but here the limiting factor of what you're going to be able to use in Excel is going to be the character length of the URL. So a lot of the chart samples in the library are quite long but you can reduce some of them to the bare essentials. So for example, even in our radial chart here, we could reduce the URL size or length even more. So for example, this background color here, it's creating that gradient fill color. But we could get rid of that and just use a constant color. So let's try green. And we're still going to get a nice looking radial chart, but just with a solid color. So I managed to get a dozen or so different chart types working in Excel from Quick Charts library by reducing the sample code down to the bare essentials. Let me know in the comments what you're able to build with this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.